imagine going to a restaurant or bar and then taking your drink with you as you leave. It's an idea the city of Denver wants to explore. That's why tonight the city council approved a five-year pilot program that will create common consumption areas. But don't think it means Denver will be turning into Bourbon Street. People still won't be allowed to drink freely on the streets. Our Jamie Leary has our top story tonight from the Santa Fe Arts District. So, Jamie, how would this work? Well, this area is really the perfect place to talk about it because you have multiple businesses close together, all with liquor licenses already, and they could easily partner together to form a designated area. But the Santa Fe Arts District recently told me it still doesn't have enough information to make a decision whether it's for or against. So we headed to Greeley today, one of the first cities in Colorado to actually start something like this. They call their common consumption the Go Cup. With a baby grand in the front of her shop and a hair salon in back, Linda Winter is ready for the crowds. Since Greeley started Go Cup, you know, it was a big deal for Greeley, and people uh, that maybe said, "Oh, I haven't been downtown forever," uh, they start coming down on Friday nights and said, "You know, this is a good place." Linda is on the outskirts of the established consumption zone. People can't drink in her store, but she knows how to get them in. On Friday nights when we get two or 3,000 people down here, you got to stay open. They don't want to see closed storefronts. The common consumption area is only part-time in Greeley, but it's enough where Luna's Tacos and Tequila had to change its business model. This was our box office window. We've removed that, so now we have an opening window and our margarita taps. It will be grab-and-go margaritas during Go Cup Fridays. It easily generates an additional 25% of revenue for us on those days, so it's a big deal. And on those days, all businesses in the consumption area have wristbands and security. As businesses, we're really banding together to uphold that responsibility and encourage it. In its five years here, there have been no alcohol-related issues surrounding common consumption. It's been a great thing for Greeley. From Linda's perspective, it should be simple for Denver. What would Greeley do? Follow the rules. <laughs> Denver may actually be considering what Greeley has done because over the next few months it will start working on regulations and firming those up. By May of 2020, it should be rolling out in full force. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right.